what is up y'all we are back out here in the garage this morning working on these uh these doors here for a closet these bifold doors we had a situation where our demo guys accidentally removed these doors and got rid of them on a job that we did not need them to do that so <clears throat> these doors are flat panel doors with custom trim that is attached to the top of it so we've got our doors we've got a couple more over here and we've got our trim all right here so right now i'm just in the process of drawing out where this trim is going to go positioning it as uh accurately as i can before i start actually putting the trim on there so that's what we've got going on today uh, it's been rainy out here in southwest florida it's rained almost every day this week and i mean pour down rain we got like a foot of rain in some areas other places got over a foot of rain so um you know any amount of sunlight is is appreciated right now here in southwest florida what else is kind of going on oh well i've got a, a short sleeve shirt on so you guys can kind of start to see some of the tsw i'm still dealing with here so we're kind of hard to see but i've got this kind of rash going on right now you can kind of see it there better it's super light compared to anything else it'd been about three and a half weeks since i had any sort of flare at all from it and i went to get a massage i hadn't had i do a massage every two weeks it's more like a deep tissue release but I hadn't gone in months because of the tsw and i thought you know my back's in good shape i think we can we can go ahead and push forward with this and um, i don't think it was the smartest idea um, i had started to flare right before the massage and i think it just kind of aggravated the skin a bit so i'm gonna um i'm gonna hold off on doing any more of that i um been working out consistently that's been going good it's my kind of garage gym we got going on over here i'll show you guys a little bit about what i got got my red light here these things move all around my red light therapy i've got my bench there you can see my daughter has got all of her doing laundry today so get rid of that there for a sec you can see here i got my different weights 10 12 25 it's got this cool kettlebell that's adjustable you can take plates out of it it i mean it goes down to like probably eight pounds it goes all the way up to 40 pounds so i really like that got our punching bag got our double end bag over there so uh just building my my gym out here you don't i don't need too much just enough to get a good pump kind of aggravated my upper bicep earlier this week um, I just don't think I warmed up before doing incline bench enough. So I've kind of just been babying that for the last few days. Ordered some BPC 157 so we can get some shots in that elbow or in that shoulder right up there by that bicep. Kind of reduce some inflammation, get that healing up. Um, I've got some other videos about BPC 157. That's probably my favorite supplement <clears throat> that I take. I take it orally one in the evening <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> and one in the morning helps reduce the inflammation in your gut really good for your gut health um, improves inflammation all over your body when you take it orally and then if i if i aggravate something or, or i have um, an acute injury or I, I, from the times i've had surgery i do injectables 10 days of injectables right in the in the affected area so i'm excited about that because the fda kind of tried to stop that but my doctors have found a little loophole, so they're they're still able to provide that. So that's awesome. What else is kind of going on? Just rocking and rolling. My kids are home from summer, from school for the summer. So my wife's super busy with them, keeping them busy. We're gonna go to Sky Zone later for one of the kids that's in jujitsu with my daughter. Um, his birthday party, so we're excited about that. Yesterday we, uh, we went to Target and got him a, a Batmobile with uh, a batman figure and and the batmobile shoots uh, an arrow so that's pretty cool my, my daughter picked it out she really liked that um been just working a lot on stoicism um tapping into to my stoicism and, and tying that into my faith and not letting things bother me too much uh when i when i kind of tweaked my my upper bicep on monday 
I really probably had a good 24 hours where I didn't externalize it, but, but inside, man, I was just, I was down. I was bummed out. I was like, really? Like, come on, man. I don't know if it's genetics or what it is with me, but, um, it's, uh, I, I was bummed out, you know? And then by the next day, the next evening, we, my, my wife and I were sitting out here just talking and um, I said, man, I really want to work on that. I know I didn't, you know, externalize or complain or, 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 or bother the external about it too much. But inside, I was just down and, and I want to work on that. So um, just embracing every situation that happens, knowing that God is working, God is, is developing whatever he needs to develop within me so that I can become the man that he created me to be. That That's the biggest thing. And then just staying stoic about it not not having a lot of um attachment to any certain thing it's been something else i've been working on um and just calming my mind and knowing that um you know the lord is in control and that i can handle any situation that um that i find myself in so that's kind of what else is going on. I'm trying to keep out consistent content for you guys because my subscriber base is growing and I'm so grateful for that. Um, let's talk about OCD a little bit because I haven't talked about that in a while. And my OCD, as we've talked about before, is like every single subset. If one subset of OCD, let's say it's contamination and I'm worried about getting sick or getting contaminated with a disease or something like that, and I start to get a handle on that, then my mind will start to worry about other things like every little thing that I feel. Did you just have an injury? Are you going to have to have surgery? Are you this, that, that? So that's kind of what's, what's been, I've been dealing with lately because in the last few years, you know, uh, my physical issues has been uh, an issue that I've had to overcome. <clears throat> even, even the TSW, that's a, kind of a physical thing. So my, my, my brain is aware that I'm hyper-focused on making sure that my physical health and my mental health, of course, but my physical health is in good condition. So anytime anything, even like the slightest little like, oof, you know, I was pressing down on whatever, a piece of trim and oof, that kind of made my thumb sore. My OCD will trigger and say, oh no, is now your thumb injured? Is this gonna be a chronic condition? Uh, should you have this looked at? Oh, my, my, my brain will go down a rabbit hole about nothing. So I've really been practicing as those things happen, a little bit different than, than the bicep. That was, that was an actual um, kind of little pulled it a little bit. Um, but these smaller things, I'm trying to stay, stay in control, even though OCD is letting go of control, but staying in control of not letting myself ruminate and go down an entire rabbit hole where like Monday, I spent Monday to Tuesday just kind of like in my brain, thinking it through, think about what it could be. What if it doesn't get better? What if it da 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 da, -da when really it's just, okay, you're working out, you, you tweak that, let's, let's be easy on it for a week or so, let's kind of do some physio stuff, get it back to where it's feeling real good and then move on but my brain doesn't like to work like that my brain likes to play out every option and then it likes to decide that the worst case scenario is what will be so i've been really practicing on not engaging with those thoughts uh rebuking those thoughts as they come in and knowing that god is in control that's that's been the, the biggest takeaway that i've had from all of these challenging situations over the last you know, three to five years, you guys can see it on my, on my channel from all the different surgeries, all the issues dealing with the OCD when my daughter was born, kind of coming back full force. Um, the biggest and best thing that has come out of all of that is my faith and my connection with the Lord. Um, I come out every morning and I do my exercises. And then after my exercises, I sit under the red light and I, I get into my word. I get into the Bible for at least 10 minutes. I also got another book. It's, it's really great. It's um, the daily, what is it called? Hold on. The Daily Stoic. And it's got a little stoicism quote for every day of the year. And I've really enjoyed that. So I'll read that first. Then I'll get into my word so that the last thing before I go into my home and by that time my kids are awake, they're getting ready for school or whatever the activity is, the last thing that I do before I go inside is um, 
is getting to my word. Actually, after my word, I've been kind of going outside and doing a little bit of grounding, just taking my shoes off, standing in the grass for a while, um, just kind of getting that charge back, grounding, taking a deep breath, thinking about what, what the word that I just read is, was, and um, just being grateful for a moment, looking around um, and being grateful for everything that I have, the little plot of land that I own, and just being being eternally grateful for that because I know, you know, people say, how do you know that God is real? How do you know it's true? It's like, I just look at my life. I look back at where I've been, the challenges I've overcome, um, the difficulty that was, you know, my childhood and my adolescence and then dealing with self-medicating. Uh, I've been through a lot of things that, you know, a handful of things that most people don't, don't ever go through one of those type of things. So I know that I didn't get through those things on the strength of my own because I'm not that powerful. I'm not that strong. I know that the Lord was guiding me. And, and really this last thing with this TSW, guys, I'm telling you, that was by far the most difficult thing that I've ever dealt with, um, in the moment it was so intense it was so disruptive um the getting those steroids and that cortisol level out of your brain um it really messed up a lot a lot of stuff inside me i didn't realize as i was using those creams just to deal with a little bit of dermatitis and uh, i'd be out here uh, broken on on this workout launch box just sitting there under the red light, you know, telling the Lord, Lord, I, I cannot get through this night. I, I need your strength to get through this night. And um, I know there was many, many nights I didn't get through it through my own power, but through his. So that's just been a beautiful thing. I talk about that a lot because um, for one, uh, years ago when I was dealing with the nerve issue in my arm, my elbow, my wrist, that surgery that I had, um, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, if you restore me from this, if you get me through this, I'll tell everybody it was you. So I'm, I, I make good on that promise. Um, but also because the struggle with mental health that, that we have, the struggle with OCD, with anxiety, with depression, a lot of that stuff can be mitigated and for the better, lack of a better terms, eliminated by getting a relationship with the Lord, by understanding his word by having the faith of a mustard seed a mustard seed is this big but when you have the faith of the mustard seed a uh, the, the lord listens the lord the lord hears you he takes that as if it's faith that can move mountains all it takes is a mustard seed so i feel that's such a critical part of mental health and overcoming some of these lifelong challenges because I've been dealing with OCD and anxiety since I was seven, six, seven years old. I was diagnosed at, at nine, um, and it has not been easy. There's been a lot of ups and downs in, in my adulthood. It kind of turned into a lot of self-destructive behaviors by self-medicating and trying to escape from the way that I was feeling. And today, I embrace the way that I'm feeling. I understand that these challenges I'm going to learn and grow from, and... Um, taking everything day by day and not not getting too flustered so those are just kind of the things i've been working on i wanted to jump on here today and talk it's now been 13 minutes so i hope this is a good video that helps somebody just kind of get out of their mind for a second if they found this because of the mental health and the ocd get out of your mind for a second understand that you're not alone and, and press forward so like always like this video so other people can find it leave me a comment of some subjects you'd like to hear me talk about I've been through a lot in my life, so chances are there's some situation I've been through that I can relate to what you're talking about and we can get a good video out of it. And like always, hit that subscribe button because we're getting up there and when we get to a thousand subscribers, you know what I'll do, I'll get out in my community and I will donate another $100 to an organization that I feel does good. But the kicker on this one, because it's gonna be a thousand subscribers, we've been doing this since 200 subscribers. So that would be $800 we've donated to our community. And what that money does is it goes to these organizations that we feel do good. And it's not to change their month or their year. It's just to change the staff's day. We go in there, we drop a hundred bucks. They can get some coffee. They can get, I was going to say, get some donuts. Hopefully they get something a little healthier than that, but they can just do something special for the staff because they're the unsung heroes. So hit that subscribe button. Let's get to a thousand subscribers. Let's go.